the Spartan warriors said it amazingly. They said, sweat more in training and you'll bleed less in war. This is the thing I hear the most, is people don't believe in themselves. Right. And I think what we try to do on the School of Greatness is give people tools on how to learn how to do that. And you know, just thinking about something doesn't always work. It's taking the actions and seeing the results and building the confidence. The 5 a.m. club is probably the thing that builds the most belief because when you have your morning set up with structure and you right. follow through on these principles, I know when I make my bed, when I work out, when I meditate, right. I am almost bulletproof in my belief because I right. did what I said I want to do. Mm -hmm. I build momentum. Mm -hmm. I took care of those core things with my mindset, my heart set, my soul set, my health set. Mm. And it's like, okay, the rest of the day is good now. At least I have a foundation. So how do you do it when you feel a sense of uh, a lack of self-belief? Well, you said it, which is uh, get your morning routine right. Um, one of the key themes in the 5M Club is as you start your morning so you construct and build your day. The Spartan warriors said it amazingly. They said, sweat more in training and you'll bleed less in war. Mm. So you look at most people and they begin their day like a five alarm fire. You know, they start checking their email, they start you know, hitting the ground running. And so what the 5M Club method is really all about is the 20-20-20 formula that, I've, that has worked amazing results with the, the titans and mm -hmm. the A players and the billionaires and the sports superstars that I've worked with. And it's simply the first 20 minutes of your day is intense exercise and we can get into why that's important in terms of dopamine and reducing cortisol and serotonin yeah. and norepinephrine. And then after that, the second 20 minute pocket, uh, which we can get into is all about reflection which is where journaling, you're journaling, meditation. It's journaling and it's meditation and it's visualization and you can mm -hmm. do some affirmations. And guess what? You could just sit there in solitude and think. I mean, the great heroes of the world were more thoughtful than ordinary people. You don't have to be on your phone or writing all the time. You can just sit and reflect. Yeah, I think, I think tranquility is the new luxury. Mm. We live in a world where we're addicted to devices, we're addicted to distraction. We all know about the, the dopamine loop of a lot of the platforms out there. And so a lot of people are taking the best hours of their greatest days, time that they could spend constructing their monuments, being creative, being productive, serving the world, building f beautiful lives for themselves and their families. And they are just hooked, hooked to technology, hooked to likes. And um, so, and then the third pocket of the 2020-20 formula, and I go much deeper into, into, in, it, in the book, is all about growth. Now, if you give yourself that one hour that I call the victory hour, free from distraction, free from interruption, what you're doing is you are building an inner core of heroism and mm. undefeatability so that six o'clock, you feel fundamentally different. Your neurobiology has been, is on fire. Your metabolic rate is higher, you know this. You've actually connected with your values if you've taken some time to journal, you, you've connected with your mountaintop, you're grounded in what's most important, you've practiced some calm, and you've even done some learning. You're far more intentional, stronger, and energetic, and creative by six o'clock. Then you go out into our messy world where there's confusion and you face challenges, yeah. and, you know, but you're not busy being busy. You're monomaniacally focused on the few things that will get you to your Mount Everest.